to find and use your activity log on your home page. First of all, go to Facebook, and then you want to go to your profile page by clicking on your name on the top right, or top right. Okay, and then it brings up your home page. Over here on the right hand side, there's a little thing that says activity log, and also your settings. You can also get the activity log and other goodies in your Facebook you probably didn't know about by clicking this arrow here. And it brings up your following events, your notes, um, and activity log used to be there, but I guess it's not there anymore. Anyways, click on activity log. All your activities here. Now it has your post, tags, other posts you've hidden. So if you hidden a post, you want to go back to it, you click on there. Your photos, your likes, your comments, all that good stuff. If you want to get to just groups, go down here to where it says more, click on more, and then scroll down, and just after following it would be groups, so you click on groups. Okay, if you look all the way to the right here, it has the date. You go all the way back to, all the way back to the time that you started on Facebook, all the way back to 2008 I could go. So you can see here, I'm on, um, it shows where I added an album for vinyl fencing and it has its public. I could click here and I could um, um, click on the photo or if you click on the date right here it'll come we'll bring you right to the posting. I could go all the way back to I click on 2011 over here and it shows posts that I did way back then. So I posted in some kind of uh, Oak Ridge Area Chamber of Commerce breakfast um, and then here's a club foot page that I do um, where I posted pictures. So I could go over here on the right hand side and I click this allow on timeline. You click that. I could delete the photo here. And it shows that it's public. It shows the website and it shows the time, December 10th at 10.05 a.m. And I could click on that and it'll bring you right to the post. So if you scroll down here, you see all the photos that I posted on that day, and then it keeps going, just brings up more stuff. Um, um, shows that I posted here. Um, the easiest way to get directly to a post is actually to click on the time underneath it, and it brings you right to the post. If you don't click on that, then it... Um, it just brings you to the top of the page and then you have to find it again. So continuing on, I'm in groups and here's my how to make a album with a computer. It's in Mountain Swap. If I click there, it's going to take you to the current stuff in Mountain Swap. If you click on the little date just underneath it, it'll take you right to the actual uh, post. Uh, you see the several pictures I made in the album here. If you click on one of them, then it brings up the, um, the photo and any comments and the description. You can click here and you can edit it. And you can edit the description here. And it's really good to maybe put your name in the description. That way, when if you're using the other search tool, it'll bring up. Um, you, uh, you could cancel. Come back over here. The way to get rid of the picture is you see if I hover over the photo it has your take tag photo option share or like if you click click on the options and then it has you can rotate right and rotate left I know a lot of people you guys post pictures that are um, um, sideways so I could put rotate left and um, it'll rotate the photo see options and I'm gonna rotate it back right Or I could just go to options and then I can d download it to my computer if I've lost it. I can make a profile, make it a cover photo, or I can just remove this photo. So anywhere when you click on a photo, you get these options. So if you get a picture that's all sideways, you could rotate it there. So how to actually bring up a comment or a post you made. Um, again, here's in groups and your activity log. It shows that I posted a mountain swap. I posted a link and who the admins were and all the good stuff. If you click on the time, 
it'll bring it up right there in Mountain Swap, and then you can add to it or edit it or whatever. Go back, 